It's Friday night in London, England. Ferris Dizuki and Nick Matthew have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the last hour in a nail-biting final to decide who will be the 2017 Canary Wharf Classic champion. Matthew has just reached match ball, but it's going to take something extra special to close out this match and win the title. Dizuki has won the previous rally by thundering the ball into the front right Nick. Although Matthew holds match ball, it's Dizuki that is on the run, and Matthew knows if he gives any space to Dizuki, the ball will be put away with authority. So to win this match, Matthew, who is regarded as one of the greatest tacticians of all time, is going to have to raise the stakes and come up with what is quite possibly the most dangerous shot ever played on championship ball. Can't believe it. Still two championship balls with the number one seed, Matthew. And this is it. Believe it or not, with Dazuki firmly planted on the tee, Matthew is about to win the championship on this next shot. So take a guess. Straight backhand drop because Dazuki's leaning left? Nope. Trickle boast? Not quite. Power it to the back right corner where there's open space? No, he needs to keep the ball away from Dazuki's forehand. So power it straight drive deep? Not quite. Watch what Matthew does next. Uh, He's not in. It's the most brilliantly timed down the middle cross court you will ever see. And this position right here shows that Dazuki completely commits to the forehand and now doesn't have enough time to get back to the backhand side. So tries for the behind the back, but it's too late. For Matthew to pull off this shot, his timing and pace had to be perfect. If Dazuki even reads it slightly, it'll be a stroke against him. And at 10-8 match ball, the stakes could not be higher. That's why this is quite possibly the most dangerous shot ever played on match ball. So here's how we're going to work on this shot in a drill setting. This is called the short deep game. I'm hitting everything to the front of the court, boasts, straight drops, cross court drops, how's up front hitting everything deep, straight and cross court. And when he feels the time is right, throw in that down the middle cross court and see if he can fool me on it. And one other drill we'll do is rotating length on one side with the boast option. Then off the boast, the player has the option to either do a regular cross court or try the down the middle shot. It's great for both players trying to react to that shot and see if you can pull it off. So there you go. Next time you're on court, see if you can pull off the most dangerous shot ever played. Uh, He's not in. 